right, back off. Let's go. All right, here's the line right here, just fine. Right at the very edge. Here it is, straight across right here, 12 rounds for the championship of the world. Touch him up, good luck. Well, Donaire wanted to know how he would do against a taller fighter, a world-class taller fighter. He's about to find out, is this careful what you wish for? <laughs> or will Donaire dominate Matabula Roy as he has dominated every opponent he's faced in recent years? We shall soon find out. There's the bell to begin round number one. Scheduled for 12, Donaire against the tall and lanky Matabula. See if Matabula could stay disciplined and use that jab. Donaire jumps in and lunges with the left. Moving around and staying away, didn't want to engage. Donaire just missed with that left cross. Matabula is now back and straight up, which is not good. Well, when Donaire closes the gap, he negates the height advantage for Matabula. And that's what uh, Nomiko has to do. Just get close to him and put those big punches on him. And try you know, he's he's doing VADA, volunteer uh, testing for performance enhancers year-round, Donaire. He's, uh, he's volunteered for it. Dropping his hands in front of a taller opponent. I don't love that, Russ. He jumped he's in with enough respect in boxing in a hurry when you do stuff like that. <laughs> Not Nonito. He's good enough, I think, that he can overcome this kid just like he's doing. Good combination and a good hook to the body. Finish it off for Matabula. Oh, he's throwing that home run hook Donaire is. <laughs> Matabula's throwing a pretty good punch himself, though. Trade inside. He's not afraid to trade with uh, Melito. That's surprising to me. Donaire with a left hand with Matabula against the ropes. I don't love what, Ma what, what Donaire is doing there, Roy. He's really loading up on the hook, hoping to end it early, it looks like to me. I don't love it, but he survived these next two or three rounds. It seems that he gets stronger in the second half of the fight. That's when you start to find out what's really going to happen. But it's like you said, they go through one heck of a curling process to get to the United States and to be able to fight on American TV. That's right. If you see them on American TV, it means they can fight. Combination from Matabula. Right hand was blocked by Donaire. End of round three. Two rounds to one, no, Nico Donaire. Now I gotta tell you something. This fight, you, you've got to measure how many jabs the mongoose has to land to offset one wallop that Nonito Donaire lands, and who did more damage. I, I mean, I got a round two and he threw over 100 punches. But, you know, he did more than the mongoose. But uh, from Matabulu's nose. Donaire has caught Matabulu. He really paid for it yet, Roy, but sometimes these guys get in those exchanges and they throw some shots, and Donaire's putting himself in unnecessary risk. Go, left hand drops Matabula. Maybe not when you can punch like that. <laughs> Cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Come to me. All right. Matabula's up, first down in his career. He's been down on the canvas, a left hand near the end of round four. Holy. Here you see the Filipino flash dip inside with a hook, wham, right over the top of Matabula's right hand. A beautiful, well-placed left hook. Once again, he blocks the shot, boom, right on the jaw, a beautiful left hook. He was right looking for that shot. Roll up a cut from Donaire. Fires off a right and a left. Effective against larger fighters, and I suppose in many respects, it, ooh, good right hand from Matabula. Range your fighter as a pressure. Oh, good left hand by Donaire. And he fires. He does sneak a hard punch down the pipe every now and then on the Right hand, hand from Donaire. Like that. Great right hand by Matabula just did. Not a bigger man in the ring to be increasingly shorter here. Left hand by Matabula touched the face of Donaire. Donaire still back in with a power shot of his own. 
pretty good round the kind of fight that he's used to you know he's got to do a lot of work just to get in the right range yes he does but this is what he wanted this is what he asked for so of course he's not and he's taking away most of Donaire's heavy left hooks and his height allows him to be out of the way of the left hook a lot quicker than most people would be so the jab goes further than the left hook would travel and the brown self so if he's gonna win the fight his jab is his best punch like right there he was throwing it and it enabled him to land forehead left eye swelling the last round right when he gets started that jab makes him stop sometimes a good stiff jab can neutralize Donaire looking for a home run left hook, got hit by about eight shots. Hey. Each man putting his 122-pound belt on the line. Off ...and being very, very busy. But remember, at the end of round seven, Nonito Donaire was complaining in his corner that his leg fell asleep. The risk of him is to get stronger late in the fight. Oh, good shot, good uppercut. Quite close on Harold Letterman's scorecard. It's going. Well, I thought Matabula won the round. <laughs> Me too. I, I think Donaire lucked out a little bit that it was a short round. He shoot close. Gennady Golovkin is out there at middleweight. Fight guys like that every fight. See what happens when he uses his jab. Not really throwing a punch for like the last 30 seconds. Just that right here. May have broken his nose or something. Y'all have had some big rounds, but this round, this 12th round, could determine this fight. Matabula is not even punching anymore. Uh, bell rings. Until this bell rings. Oh, right good hand. Shot. And Matabula is has landed some real good shots here. Left hand by Donaire to the head of Matabula. Steps in with a right. I thought uh, Lolito pulled it out in that last round. Donaire says, bring it on. Fires a couple power shots. That's how it ends. How do the judges have it scored? Let's find out from our ring announcer, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here at the Home Depot Center, we go to the official scorecard. Judge Davis scores it. 117 to 110. Judge Morrow. 118 to 109 and judge duarte scores it 119 to 108 for the winner by way of unanimous decision and now the unified wbo and ibf super bantamweight champion of the world the filipino flash no Donito Donaire, a unanimous decision. In fact, to be honest with you, I'm surprised by the width in which he won on the judges' scorecards.